I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Bikeman? I'm here. B. Singer? Present. Boss? Present. Ekis? Present. Fry? Present. Gross? Present. Troller? Present. Throm? Present. Corn? All righty. First item is the approval of minutes. I do not have any amendments. Does anyone have any amendments? All right. Approve regular meeting on October 9th. What's Keith? Move. Second. Move. Is there any discussion? <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 8 -oh. Thank you very much. Um, public comments. Anyone who is not on the agenda that would be like to share, please come to the podium. Give your name, your address, and your award. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Wayne Cruzy. here on behalf of Marysville Mutual Tourism. And our partner we got these. Oh, they gave and it to us. Oh, we already got those. Can, can we pull that? Thank you. I'll take the thing up. You see that thing? That's uh, Santa's there? Christmas parade is coming wait, wait, up. Wait one second, yep. Wayne. Can we lift that up? Uh, it's, well, oh, it's, okay. stuck. it's stuck. It's yep. stuck? Okay. I would, you have a little shade there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Wayne. That's all right. Santa's Christmas parade is coming up. We're gearing up for our Christmas opening activities. The parade is on Saturday the 25th at 10.30 a.m., not p.m., if you look in that second oh. paragraph, <laughs> didn't catch that. There we go, 10.30 a.m. And so our requests can be found in the third paragraph. It talks about being able to use Broadway for the, par for the parade, being able to have Santa arrive on one of our fire engines. That is his preferred way to enter the parade. And to let our parade participants use golf carts or ATVs. That's kind of the first request. In that fourth paragraph, it talks about blocking off some of the streets. And then finally, we love it when city council members are in the parade. So we hope that you'll join us. Well, I still Saturday. have my reindeer ears. <laughs> I have everyone's reindeer ears. No, you don't. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm anxious. I'm anxious for the parade. You guys have any questions for Wayne? Uh, yes, 6th, yes. 7th, 8th, and 8th. It's oh, street. street. Mm -hmm. Can you tell seven, Michelle seven, typed this before nine. she left for her? Yes. She was in a hurry. <laughs> yes. Thank right. you for so you're, that, So it, is that up to 9th nine. would be where the... Post office. Yeah. Post office. Post office. Yeah, yeah like where yeah. the Kester block the would be. Santa's okay, house. Santa's yeah. house. Yeah, yes. that's what I'm searching for, Santa's <laughs> house. Okay. You want 5th on there, too, I'm assuming. You're starting at if you're at if we're beginning. starting at fourth, absolutely. So okay. fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Sounds good to me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, wait, we'll yep. entertain a motion. Yes. Move to approve the request of the Marysville uh, Chamber of Commerce for a or the Marysville Convention and Tourism. Main Street and Marysville Chamber of Commerce for a Christmas opening of a Marysville Christmas, November 24th through the 26th, and move to approve all the requests as presented. Yeah, well, the, you, I think we should say from 5th to 9th Street since it's different than their request. Okay, we request that the city allow us to block off 9th Street from Broadway to the alley from 8.30 to 3, from the alley to Elm Street after the post office closes at 10.30 until approximately 3 p.m., on Saturday, November 25th, request to have Broadway blocked 5th Street, 6th Street, 7th Street, 8th Street, and 9th Street at 9.30 a.m. until after the parade to ensure the safety of parade attendees. I like that. Is there a second? Second. He's just glad he didn't have to read that off. <laughs> Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Ado. And that includes the golf carts and ATV, so yeah, that's right. good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. Thank you for planning it. Is there anyone else that would like to share? All right, our first item is Ordinance uh, 1857 for vacating an alley. <coughs> Move to approve Ordinance Number 1857, Vacate Alley Block 11, Palmetto. Second. Is there any discussion? Roll call. I do. Um, <laughs> since it was Terry who requested it, would you want to wait until uh, finalize his close date on the purchase of the property? 
Uh, you mean set the vacation date afterwards? Yes. Um, we have to publish this for. Well, I, okay. So which? So goes pending. First? Pending. You want to say? Pending. We have to publish this, though, right? Yeah. So we would publish it a after. After he purchases after it. After he purchases it. What's your time frame, Terry, on purchasing that property? Do you know? Well, we're just waiting for the abstract permit to get the papers filled out. It's a done deal. Okay, so are you okay if you you are you wanting us to make a contingent or what do you want? To yeah, just just yeah, a conting, contingent on the close date, and and that would solve everything. She'll send. Well, that's she'll, really fine with us because just as long as we know that you guys are behind us, that part, okay. we can wait until we get the paperwork done. Yes. Sir. Okay. So, so in the motion. So who who made the motion? Becky. I think I did. Okay. Okay. Move to approve ordinance number 1857, vacate the alley block 11, Palmetto, contingent upon the closing and publication in the newspaper. You have to publish. Is that, is that That's okay right. with you? Yep. Contingent on the closing of the purchase and publication. Okay. And who was the second? I was. That's okay. Fine with me. Any further discussion? Thank you for pointing mm -hmm. that out. Do you need an authorized and authorize the mayor to sign? Do we need that on there? And authorize the mayor to sign? And authorize the mayor to sign. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Roll call. Bikeman? Yes. B Singer? Yes. Boss? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Fry? Yes. Gross? Yes. Schroller? Yes. Jerome? Yes. It's 8 0. All right. The next <coughs> document is Marshall County Arts Cooperative Financial Statements. Brad, did you put that in or was that? Uh, Wayne's. Oh, Wayne's that was speaking. Wayne too? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He did, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the Marshall County Arts Cooperative and the Lead-In Center for Fine Art. MCAC is 11 years old. We're a presenting organization, which means we present other people's <coughs> work. So the Marysville Area Community Theater, the Marshall County Community Band, and the Marshall County Community Choir, they're all producing organizations. They produce their own work. But us, we bring in other artists so that the county can enjoy their work. We believe that the arts bring people together, the arts unite groups. So whenever we bring artists in, we try to make that happen. For example, a couple weekends ago, we worked with the Blue Rapids Fire Department, the Blue Rapids Police Department to present Oktoberfest. And so two groups came together. Uh, the Fire Department and Police Department handled the, the fish fry, the kids' bouncy houses, and we brought in some of the entertainment to create one big event. And then when you have different groups coming together, you have different audiences and give people an opportunity to interact with one another. We also think it's important that everyone has access to the arts and that we have a lot of different types of arts that are represented throughout the year. So in a couple weeks, we'll start School of the Arts Holiday Touches. We're offering five different arts classes to help you get ready for the Christmas season. In February, we're bringing back Theater Works USA. They're a professional touring company out of New York. All of their performers are members of Ac Actors' Equity. They were here last year, and all of the elementary students in Marshall County came to the high school to see a performance, and this year that will happen again. They're doing Charlotte's Web, so every elementary student will be able to see a professional troupe doing a great show. Since Presidio Brass was so popular, they too are coming back, and again, they'll work in all four of our county high schools. They're doing a special performance in Frankfurt, because it's important to make sure we have performances all over the county. And then they'll also do a special one here, kind of a USO show. About 20 years ago, we used to do USO shows. We're doing another one of those, where the community band will get to play with a professional group like Presidio Brass. And then we just booked, booked the Chardon Polka Band. They are not your typical polka band, I can tell you that. And they're going to kick off our summer concert series, and they're also happening that Thursday right before Blue, Big Blue River Days to kind of get the excitement going. So we have a lot of different things going on. And then, of course, another piece of this whole puzzle is us managing the Lee Dam Center for Fine Art. And we thank you for allowing us to do that. First and foremost, the Art Center is an art center, as it, as it, as it is named. And a couple years ago, we, we came to terms with that building needs to be used as an art center. At times, there are rentals that occur there, but most importantly, it's an art center where art is either displayed or where artistic events happen. 
So over the past couple of years, you might remember Joel Sartore, the National Geographic photographer. He had an exhibit here. Scott Bean has brought some of his work here. Last month's exhibit by Andrew Schell was very, very cool. And in a couple of weeks, uh, Deborah Payne will be back. She was our artist in residence who was here for four weeks over a year, one week per each season. And she'll have 20 paintings on display of Marysville and the surrounding area. And you'll see our town um, not through a nostalgic lens. So she kind of takes all that away and just paints what you really see in the different seasons. Uh, so that should be a really great exhibition. Uh, at times we do have rentals there if the rentals can co coordinate or coincide with an exhibit. We found that there are certain times of the year where we have more rentals than not. So we make sure that in April and December specifically, we generally don't have exhibits there because those are popular times for people to rent that space. So that, that works to our, to our advantage. Not only do we show visual art, it's also a great place to do concerts. At Christmas, Martin Lucas is coming back and he'll be doing a Christmas concert at the Art Center. Sometimes MAC does shows there. And we have a, we've started a tradition where we do the State Music Showcase every April where the students from the high schools who are going to advance on to State Music, they perform there for an audience. So there's a nice places, it's a nice place for them to perform. As far as rentals are concerned, we just had a wedding there a couple months ago. There are often receptions, there are showers, graduation parties, especially for those students who are active in the visual arts. They love to have their graduation party at the Art Center. Over the past couple years, we have made some specific improvements to the Art Center. You'll notice our walls are now carpeted, which is just a nicer way to display the art. We have new carpeting, we've bought new chairs and tables, and we plan to keep doing that as well. So, um, I, we feel that our, when I think back, I, I was on the committee when we, when the city and the arts cooperative put this agreement together. I remember there was a lot of trepidation because we weren't for sure how this was going to work. And I think this many years later, it seems to be a win-win solution and we appreciate the opportunity to be able to manage that space for you. Have you actually had this space for 11 years? You said MCAC started. We have, MCAC's been going for 11 years, no. Oh, Debbie, mm -hmm. Bernie Krug was our mayor. Mm -hmm. Uh, he was the one who who got this together, I would okay, say. I, was just but I don't remember the exact year. Okay, seven years ago. Is that seven right? Years ago. Yeah, okay, thanks, Vicki. Brad, anything else from you today? The, you mentioned we did put the financial. We had not, Debbie reminded, we had not submitted a financial statement for a couple of years, and so we did give you the last, uh, would be our, our fiscal year is July through June. And although we, we will speak in terms of a calendar year for the performance schedule, just because that's what people are used to hearing, we have a, our fiscal year, so we gave you the last, which is really the, the utilities and expenses versus the rental income. I think the rental income will be a little bit better this year. We, um, but it, it's definitely we appreciate the the, two, the 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 funds that the city gives us to cover the utilities. I think the new AC unit will help um, lower that two thousand dollar a year electrical bill. Um, I think the other thing I would add too on the the space, we do allow pretty much any nonprofit group in the city. We, we like to focus on the arts groups, but pretty much any nonprofit group can use this the, the facility at no charge. Um, we just ask them to get the deposit, so in case they have food and things that, you know, if we have to do cleanup, but we, we try to provide that space and really just, we do the rental from weddings and other events that aren't nonprofit, so. It's such a pretty space. It is, I, I'm really glad it's being used. Mm -hmm. And it is, it's beautiful com our community room instead of like this room, so not to discount this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well thank you for yes. sharing all that. You're I right. love hearing yeah. what you have planned. Oh, the next season's amazing. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Wayne. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I'm not aware of any notices or hearings. So we'll move along to the uh, consent agenda, which is just a convention and tourism request listed on page nine. Uh, move to approve consent agenda. Second. Any discussion? 
All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> a no. Next item is our appropriations ordinance. Move to approve appropriations ordinance 3661. Second. Is there any discussion? Um, I would just, I don't object to anything, but as I was look, going over these bills today, um, we had a transfer of $13,250 for the bond and interest account number one. And uh, I had asked Debbie if that, uh, if we were going to retire the water tower uh, project, and no, that doesn't retire until 2030. But the Kester block and the fire equipment does retire in 2018. Just a little update on that. I had no objection to anything else, to anything. Okay, and just for clarification, you know that inline bill? Mm -hmm. Did we discuss that? Did we? No. For the levy? We didn't work? discuss that. It needed, it was something that needed to be done before the inspector showed you up. You had that done before yeah. the inspector? Yes. Okay. And I didn't know they that. They were really that. impressed with the work that was being done. We were, um, uh, especially with getting those ruts, like it was, those are, uh, the things that inline fixed are, the first things they would notice and the first things we would get knocked for. Is that uh, like by the gates and stuff? Oh, uh, some by the we cleaned out some by the gates, but the main portions of them were ruts that were yay big uh, over by, oh, on the northern side of, of the, um, of the, uh, um, levy? the levy, yes. Well, so did you, um, have we got a report back from them yet? No, we, got, we haven't gotten a report back, but they basically, when they left, they said they'd give us some, basically, uh, tips going forward, but nothing with a timeline. Okay. Uh, so it, it so was... So you're not in oh, anticipating any improvements? No, we, they were really happy with us. Okay. Is this something we need to do on a regular basis? We just to need to main, do that watch it watch it, and have have the uh, the time to go out and, and look at it. A uh, yearly inspection of it ourselves? They're going to try, yeah, well, they're going to try to make it out on a yearly basis now instead of every five years. So I guess we will as well. <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> <laughs> so it will be a scheduled item. Yes. Okay. Um, Mayor, I yes. might mention that one of the large items um, is the KDOT payment for the crosswalk in Hattiesburg for $55,000. Mm -hmm. But half of that, the city will be reimbursing us. This, uh, the school, school, school district. district. Uh, yes, I mean, the, that city. <laughs> city to, yes, the school. Okay. All that, with that being said, roll call, please. Beichman? Yes. B. Singer? Yes. Moss? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Fry? Yes. Gross? Yes. Schroller? Yes. Throm? Yes. It's 8 0. All right. Austin, you're up. All right, uh, just a few updates on projects. I didn't have anything for approval this time. Uh, if, you, if you've been around and noticed, we've had National Wash Authority come through. Uh, they cleaned the East Water Tower and the, ten the tank down by tension, and, the, um, and they look great. I went by that tension tank today. Me yes. Too. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yes. Wasn't they, it Keith? They got it's yeah. brand new. They got all the Did you see it? No. <laughs> <laughs> they got they got all the mold off. It looks brand new. <laughs> yeah. They got all the mold off. Um, it should last for a few years. They uh, they anticipate um, the ones closer to the ground, uh, the, t the tank on the ground, will probably, since it's right next to a dirt road and the farm trucks go right by, it might not last as long as uh, the, the tower, but it should be for years to come. I noticed you said in three to five years we should look at painting it. I guess it's <coughs> it, it's good enough that we don't need Is it. Is that both we, of them or just the Just tension the tension one? tank. We painted it apparently in 2009, and they usually recommend every 10 years, but if you keep good... Uh, Keep it, clean. keep it clean it should last a little bit longer than that but the mold got so into the paint I mean it left streaks and it they etch the paint yeah it, but you don't think we need to do it now no 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 okay um, but it looks it looks beautiful. it looks really everybody should drive mm -hmm. before the trucks go by North Street waterline uh, the water line itself is complete as I was writing this uh, they were just finishing uh, up the dirt work and the concrete work. Uh, they were supposed to be smoothing out uh, everybody's yard and putting the seed down. Uh, and hopefully that 
that should and if there's something wrong we'll we'll go back and fix it but were all the residents okay with that um it was much more disruptive than I yeah. anticipated. It's a, it was a little bit more disruptive, but I think um, I haven't gotten any. Uh, I haven't gotten out to talk to anybody, but I haven't gotten any complaints beyond uh, what the initial ones were. Was why they parked in front of me, <coughs> and why is there, Why did they dig up my yard? Um, but the curb and gutter they replaced looks like they did a good job. Yes, I think. Yeah. I'm I, pretty I was happy. pleasantly surprised how well that blends that. in. Yes, even the streets there. Yeah, yeah. did a really good job. Right in, not just with the existing. <coughs> oh yeah. So. That's good because we have the next project now. From yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 2017 Clink is underway. Uh, the concrete work they've been working on that curb and gutter. Um, uh, and then uh, some additional work that needed to be done. Um, there's a uh, storm drain over here that they just need to reface because some of the concrete fell off of it. And then there's a storm drain right over here uh, that is caving in and they're going to have to do the wor that work after they overlay. Um, the, but as far as the other concrete work done, uh, you can see all the radiuses they've done and the rest of the curbs they've done. And I've also asked them for a price, uh, since they're right here, how much to, uh, to do Citizens Bank entrance uh, for ADA compliance, uh, which I've been coordinating with Citizens Bank, because uh, we were planning on doing that next year anyways. Uh, and um, we were yeah to, to make the blocks the ADA ramp project that I uh, have been trying to coordinate uh, so on 36 or on Center Street that's the only one that's not along this projects right, I right. Mean, so yeah. you mean between 4th and 17th that's the only one that doesn't have a ramp no, there's the car wash up above doesn't have it. it. It's also doesn't have a ramp. But I think in the parameters of this lower part, it's right. the only one. Yes, yeah, it was between the only 10th one. and 5th. Uh, other than that, you can see they're they're putting in ADA ramps. So no, we didn't have to ask anyone else to consider it. I went, they were the only ones. Okay. Yeah. Are they are they pretty much on schedule right now? Are they lagging behind or where are they at on time? <clears throat> Uh, they haven't given me an update. I, I talked to well, I talked to Rob Rowdy Bush, uh, and he said it was going fairly well. Uh, they would have rather not had concrete on top of milling, but uh, they have to do what they have to do. Uh, concrete's just trying to been been trying to get out of the way as of right now. Uh, they should have been here weeks ago, but um, weren't. Because uh, they apparently had a busy schedule they didn't account for. Um, but. You want to talk about some manholes? Um, As a group? Or? I mean, that's, that's fine. Uh, oh, uh, I've been talking about installing manholes at 9th and 11th, uh, and I've been trying to get uh, some possible plans put together uh, and see how much it would cost to put. Uh, manholes at 9th and 11th because there's there's none for uh, uh, sanitary sewer and it's ideal to have one every block uh, for maintenance issues or anything like that and, um, so I'm getting prices on that BG's uh, been putting some plans together so we can get the idea uh, and looking at how much that's going to cost i mean there are there are some concerns in which kevin uh, uh, has brought to my attention uh or not just discussed as far as whether we want to do it now uh or we want to wait for seven years down the road uh, six years six years down the road before the next clink or whatever we do um so i was hoping to get the prices before we made a decision uh I guess it was one of those things like we didn't, if we were going to do it, we probably should have done it last year kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, Kevin's concern was settling around the manhole. Mm -hmm. And we hate to invest $600,000 in a street and have two settling issues within a year or two. So Those of you that drive North Street up there, you know, they did that street and they put the, that concrete uh, drain in up there underneath. And, you know, it's settled on both sides of that. I'm just afraid if we start a project like this now that they won't get the compaction right or something and it, you know in a few 
months or you know depending on how much moisture we get we could see some settling around that hole and so doing a year or two in advance of another big, of another project. big project so we were yeah we were saying we usually do plink every seven years yeah. so we can at least then we'll have some settling around so if it does settle down you know at least hopefully we hold the top surface we're getting moisture down in it you can go ahead and bring us i, we, I just thought we should because you mentioned it in the highlights and <clears> then you mentioned it here so mm, and it, it won't it wouldn't be um i'd probably have to have to ask for if we were to do it this year i'd probably um ask for a special meeting and and because it would be a, a bang bang sort of thing prices and see what you guys think well do you guys want them to go ahead and get prices what how do you how do you feel about it i think so it, he's already sent the he's already sending the specs to to get the prices so it's um, so you're going to call a special meeting that's a heads up yeah in the next week or so yeah okay we'll have a special meeting <laughs> uh okay um airport apron if you've had a chance to go out there while their uh concrete machine has been going uh it's pretty impressive they just dump the concrete right in front of it run the machine over it and they have a small amount of fixing on the other end but other than that laying a nice line of concrete uh without forms um it, it's pretty impressive yes, it uh, they do they have more delay are they done? yeah they they had to let they did three strips with the, the with the machine, uh, and then the next day they did some hand pours, which they wouldn't have been able to do with the machine. Uh, then they have to let what they poured set for a week before they could put the put it back through. So possibly next week they'll be. It should be this week. Okay. This week. Yeah, because they again. did it. They did it Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so they let it. So set. if you didn't see it. You should go see it. It's kind yeah. of cool. So they the set, and then they do. I think they they can do two more strips with that, and then the middle one is a uh, just a ten foot wide one that they they'll just do it like you would normally see anybody else do it because it's already formed uh, with the two strips beside it. Uh, but they should be done pouring by Wednesday is what they they hoped. They well they use a, a machine like that on our Highway 77. They could. Depends on the on the contractor. Who, bit, um, bids, who it? bids it? Who what kind of? More than likely, the low bidder might have that. Um, uh, uh, number five. I am planning a department head retreat. I did one last year. Uh, it helps to get everybody focused on on um, the plan the next year and planning ahead and and reviewing what's happening happened this last year uh, and I plan to take um, all the department heads to uh, Seneca and uh, have our meeting there where we'll, we will talk about uh, employee reviews employee of the year um, safety program uh, council orientation what's that mean council it means uh, when new council comes on uh, I want to have uh, the tours that you guys oh, okay. have had in the past so basically pl planning for that okay. talking about uh, that moving forward and how we're going to, to execute that okay. um, uh, as well as other items um, and having the retreat outside of Marysville just allows us to concentrate on what's going on rather than uh, a, one of your subordinates going ahead oh he's just at the wagon wheel so I'm gonna give him a call uh, and and pull them outside. Um, so that's that's planned for uh, November the first. Um, and then Black Squirrel Night donuts have been ordered, and we're getting prepared for that. Um, this year we are serving uh, donuts, apple cider, uh, and coffee down by the Pony Statue. Uh, statue. This is uh, this is where they're parading the costume contest participants. We will also be uh, setting some police and fire and canine, and hopefully the canine unit from the Sheriff's Department will be around the area as well. Um, I'm hoping to, to, to bring a good crowd down there and, and s sort of be separate, but not, not necessarily separate, just um, with where everybody's being paraded around, and, um, being in somewhat of a different area. But we'll have a tent set up uh, 
the police department has a tent with four wall, uh, with two tents with walls that we can use uh, in the case of uh, bad weather. Uh, or I've also asked OTS if, if it's really bad, if they could be um, our backup plan, and they agreed so. Austin. Yes. Aren't they judging the, uh, aren't they putting that Landel platform up by uh, United Bank again? Because once the parade's over and they start that, the whole crowd goes up there. They're right down the block is dancing as well, right in yeah, that area. Yeah, it's always at the corner of RX yeah. Drugstore yeah. of 8th, on 8th Street. What, um... I, I actually just thought it'd be too congested by us moving down there mm -hmm. with our donuts. But I, I figured I was looking at everything that was going on. Yes, there's going to be a lot of things down here, the vendors and stuff like that. And then there was one in the block that right next to where we're going to be at. And if we have police and fire uh, as a draw where I can have, I wanted them to ramp it up a little bit rather than just a few vehicles. I wanted the Sheriff's Department to be involved. Uh, they call it a touch a truck event and where everybody can go see what each of these uh, pieces of equipment uh, and, and be right in with uh, our police and fire. And are they going to be on Broadway or are they going to be on 7th Street? On, on Broadway. Broadway. Yeah. And we're trying to line it up uh, to where it's not, I mean, we're not going to take up Joe's or anything like that down there. It's just, um, we're going to line it up a little bit so they come around. And, uh, well, I think that's a good idea. I just, I just think it's sometimes congested where there's free donuts, right. just for the record. Right. Well, so. I hope so, so they take all the donuts so none of us have to take them home. <laughs> <laughs> we don't take them home, we take them to the nursing home <laughs> and the hospital. <laughs> so, so you guys are okay with doing this tent thing? Yeah, yeah. let's give it a try. Yeah. The jail doesn't get any donuts this year because they've been very bad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's probably a good point. Right. right. Uh, and that is all I am think. And what time are we starting? What time should we get there for the donuts? Um, what time is the, I get Five-ish? Five-ish, five -ish. yeah, we'll be working on it. Um, we will be trying to plan all these nutty activities uh, as <laughs> per ordinance. code of ordinance. <laughs> You're planning activities other than handing out donuts? No, that's what our ordinance says. Nutty? Okay. Is that we're supposed to have today. <laughs> okay, so do we have enough, who's going to help serve donuts? Keith? Bill's, Bill, we're going to be me. praying for Bill. You don't I know? I can't, I can't. You might? Don't you? Brad? I'm going to try. Oh, well, the one-legged? Well, try. you can be the one-legged <laughs> okay, squirrel. Pirate. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we, and I'm going to be there, so we'll have plenty of help. Um, so thank you all for coming. Here, here's a, uh, well, off the wall question, uh, change of subject. Uh, there's a whole bunch of, we're planning on buying a cemetery mower or parks mower, one of those two, next year. It's in the budget. Mm -hmm. uh, the place down in Holton put a, a whole bunch of inventory on Purple Wave, and I was looking through that, and they look like pretty decent hustlers. If I find something, because we plan for about $12,000 in next year's budget, and they're sitting about four thousand dollars right now and you think they're decent and they they have like 23 hours on them or 63 hours who, who on them. put them on there Make demos or what yeah oh, some of them look like they're rentals and that stuff but um it's not a city the, but it, it, it was, a dealer a dealer the a long list of hustler mowers uh, i mean if i find one uh Seven thousand dollars. Did they come from did Houston? You look at, did you, did you look, is the budget is it budgeted for twelve? Budgeted, budgeted for twelve thousand dollars. Yes. And that was just for one. For one more. Yeah. You guys want to go ahead and give the authorization to buy I'm one? I'm curious why the, that's an odd amount of hours. It's almost not enough to be a rental. It's a demo or something like that. It's a demo yeah. Out. There's two returns. Yeah. Is Dale looked at it and saw it and no, we're we're months? going to we're going to go we can go down because the auction ends Wednesday. They have an open look tomorrow. And They're as is. As is. Them. Yeah. Did they come from Houston? Are you taking our mechanic? <laughs> <laughs> um, Are you taking our mechanic with us? You're with you? I can. I yes. think you should. Yeah. Okay. Really but they have they have an is. they have an open look. Uh, if you guys are okay with that, they all uh, most of them look perfectly fine. I mean, it's like forty percent off. That sounds all right to me. Yeah. 
So do you guys uh, want to give them some, make a motion for some authority to buy it? We're going to put a top end on it? Yeah, you probably should. Up to 10, don't you think? It's 10 that's just, fine. just one that you want Just to one more, yeah. You don't think you need two? I mean, if that's if they're the right price. I you mean, need two for the price of one. Well, we can say <laughs> two up to 12,000. That's fine yeah. with me. You got, you, you okay? Somebody want to make that motion? Move to approve city administrator to purchase two mowers, two okay. professional mowers for up to 12000 mm -hmm. and to take a mechanic and to go look. Is there a second? A second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. I hope you get one. Thank you. Or two. Pick a good one. Or two. <laughs> or <Yeah>. two. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I got. Okay. Nothing tonight. Nothing from our city clerk. Okay, we'll move along to street. I want to commend the street department because I heard a praise about they put some rock in some alley. I want to say at 15th and Oak, and the people was that right? 15th and Oak, they were delighted. They've been they've been something. putting rock in some alleys. Yeah. yeah. So they were delighted. I, my second comment is um, the speed bump in the alley between 10th and 11th. How mm. did that come about? Uh, just. There was, uh, there was. That's one of the alleys they put rock in, and there was some concern about speed going through them. I mean, there's a the schools on the other side, and we were testing out. Uh, is this the first time you've used that temporary speed bump? Yes. Is that the one we bought, or is that the one that, that was had? the free one? I've been looking for a decent one for a good price, because uh, once we once we get another one, we can actually use it on a street. I, we were just testing the the speed bump out, put the signs out there. Uh, and hoping it slowed traffic down. Yeah, Todd said it did. It worked a treat. It's amazing to watch people react to it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you that's can see good. the sign. And they <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's good to hear. I wanted to. I wanted to to be maybe an example and and slow people down. And it just. So are you planning on keeping it there for a while? For for a little bit. Yeah. Because yeah. I know we talked about putting one what down on. Was it Fourth Street or Third Street? Second, second Street. Second street? Yeah, second. yeah. Yeah. Once we get the second one, we can put one down there. Put them both down there. And try it for a while. Try so it for a while. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, second street. A street priority list. Do we have a street priority list? Like, what for the winter months? Since we're not doing chip and seal right now, like so much curb and gutter and so much cement and so much. Well, we we have a prior. We have not necessarily. I mean, yeah, a priority list that we have every year uh, that they try to knock down as they go. Uh, and you, we recently added the, the streets out the there. The cements, Ashbury. To, and they've been working on uh, fitting those in somewhere. Yeah, we went Hometown Drive. There's a couple places there that the, it's just crumbling away. And that intersection of Timber Creek and Ashbury, Denny said he noticed that a few years ago. He never got it done. It was brought up a long time ago. Yeah, so I went down there. When and I first got there on was the council, I brought it up out there. And they took them, they just went out there and threw some asphalt in it, and it, yeah. it didn't last. Yeah, well, it, it was almost, it looked like almost six inches deep on the Where is that? Ashbury, the nice corner time. of Ashbury and yeah, Timber that Creek. one we went out. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so we looked at, we, what we did is we just looked at specific blocks of this not to do the whole street but the blocks that need to be done mm -hmm. so you think we'll be able to get to those I'm year? hoping so yeah there again a lot of those were around sewage and settling yeah. again and settling that we did wrong out there some of that was also packed in right shady concrete work yep. too so but there was that right at that intersection that dips pretty bad so he's gonna work on it as far and hometown drive there's a couple areas there that's crumbling away. Yeah, so as we put up there. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that that, that that's kind of your approach is to work right now on, on the cement and curb and gutter. Is that yeah. true? Yeah, and w I mean we got other projects. It's just we got we've had a list. He always has Gary always has a list of things to do, and it's really long. And uh, as streets degrade, it just gets added on to the bottom. It's never okay. it never. But ended. make sure the worst are at the top. Yeah. This is my point, the worst are at the top. <laughs> yeah. Okay, does anybody else have anything um, on street? A question on the, after the clink project, I'm sure the highway will get restriped and the parking stalls all get remarked. Is part of that the crosswalks, will they get repainted or will city crews do that? As far as the ones by the school? The, uh, they wear off awfully quick. The ones? Like on 11th, 12th, and it'll be if, 15. They, if, they if they cross the highway, they'll get taken care of. If they are anywhere 
within the asphalt that they take off, then yes, they'll okay. get taken care of. Well, they I know they use that stuff that holds up better than your normal crosswalk. I was just going to say, yeah. thermal plastic. Thermal so plastic. So they'll do that? They'll do that. All the crosswalk? All, if they take it up, they put it back. Oh, wow. That's good news. That's yeah. really good news. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Um, street lights. I know that doesn't actually come under street. Remind me again, that comes underneath like cemetery and airport or something <laughs> weird, right? <laughs> okay. Um, the 500 block of Broadway's got three poles around. Priority this week. Okay. Yeah. The, the couple of people down there have asked me about, it seems odd that it would be just a couple of the poles yeah. and one of them works. And I didn't think it was probably bulbs. Yeah. Um, well, Is that near the, Chromium? We're trying, yeah. We're, yeah, we're going to, yeah. we're, yeah. Do they know what the problem might be? Is it They need to, online? they need to get in and see it, it, okay. what's going on. Hopefully they it's not just shorting us, in the ground. Or they yeah, us. 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 Because they're us. They're direct decorative. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they're us. Oh, it's Dave. <laughs> it, well, it's. No, they can't, 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 yeah. can't all in. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay, Parks and Rec. Um, we were just talking about Arbor Day a little bit, Debbie. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of, we're trying to get that done this year. So that's to come. What and date? I don't, I don't think yet. we have a date yet. Oh, but we're starting okay. to make sure we know where we're going to place the tree or trees, wherever that is. And uh, the only thing, the Lakeview drainage, did, did Brian Frog will talk to you about that? Yes. And so. We have it, but in budget for next year. All of the drainage? To, yeah, we have 10000 for drainage and 10000 for ADA parking. Well, um, we have monies in that account. Do you think we should go in and do the drainage side? Because, like, when it rains, then we have our men have to go and work on recovering it. You know what I'm talking about? You know, I, I saw that in our highlights, you know, it said men worked at Lakeview for a couple of days because of the drainage issues. Mm -hmm. We have the money in that special parks fund. Okay. And, and we were just waiting on... Uh, monies did we or a uh, bid and did we get a bid on that the drainage side we got side? a bid we had a bid on it one time we've got a bid okay i mean if if it's under the we have we have 22,000 in that account right now and I, we have plenty of spending authority is it you have any idea how much it's going to be yeah how much $7,500 yeah i think we should go ahead and do that this year what yeah. do you, you guys feel like it's in the whether we do it as long as we have the money and it's a project that we can do now in the winter time, right? Mm -hmm. And it saves us from... It's actually a two-stage project. What actually needs to be repaired up there. First would be a, a berm, kind of like a terrace that runs across the parking lot at an angle to the north east corner. And then where the main drainage comes down off of 12th Street, the main entrance, we need to cut up. You mean 20th Street? There's, yeah, 20th Street. We need to cut up. A big hole in there and put a grate there so it catches it so it doesn't actually come into the park and oh, take it okay. right down to the storm sewer right there. We have a it. storm sewer there. Yeah, right we there. just don't have an exit to the storm sewer there. Where that just that water once it comes down that it hill, brushes it just over. runs all the way in. So we need to come up with a, set some grates in there to catch the water to keep it out of the park. So. Okay. So, um, do you want to bring that estimate to the council at the next, next meeting? Next council meeting, yeah. And if you happen to have a special meeting, do you want to bring? You could bring that too if you've already got the estimate. That's fine. Is that all right? Yes. Bring them together. Oh yeah, that uh, that. That's a long time ago, but I had one person really come look at it. Yeah. Nope. That we can do that. Okay. All right. Anything else on parks? And parks and rec. Yes. Uh, I noticed. Um, I was down walking in the park a week ago Sunday and it was in in the highlights but um, Dave Richardson was down there there were I think three campers and um, two of the spots the electricity wasn't working so he was down there on a Sunday oh wow taking Thank you, care Dave of Richardson. it and then of course this goes under the fire department but how'd they also know to call him can I ask that question what do you do what they I wondered that too he the figures it out some, people figure it out that to call Dave on a Sunday like it's it's a chain but it's it makes it <laughs> that's they what I wondered it. too if there was a phone number Dave discontinued the number <laughs> disconnected his number but thank you Dave I'm, I and then another thing this is really under uh, police and fire but um, he saved the city sixteen thousand dollars on that getting, fire hose. Yes, getting the fire hose and the air packs. Have we done that before? So that you know of that we've actually bought that they distributed that excess equipment. 
Somebody read that whole thing. I think everybody ought to know about that. I was amazed at the savings. And I think somebody should just read that out loud here so everybody that that's here and that's watching knows what this is, what a, what a fabulous buy this is and how he happened upon it. And it's a reliable source. Actually, it was free. Yeah. But he had to be there, you know, for him to even be looking, I think that was for the a Kansas sign. Forest Service. Do you want yeah. to read this, Vic? Oh. Do you have your highlights? Uh. You can read it, Vic. Okay, dear. On ten nineteen and ten twenty. Okay. <clears throat> uh, this is from the desk of uh, Mr. Richardson. On 1019, he, uh, in his report, he says, I finished a building permit for a garage and a small addition to a house at 404 South 15th. Each of our uh, departments pr uh, provides a, a weekly report so we know what's going on. Uh, he says, I contacted Kansas Forest Service in Manhattan. They have some used three inch and two and a half inch fire hose that I ca that is free and also have a few sections of five inch. The Forestry Service has a program that they will uh, accept used equipment from the fire department and uh, disperse it back out to local fire departments. This hose will be a savings of around $7,000 to $8,000. I believe this hose was a rotation from a Kansas City fire department. I'll run to Manhattan in the morning and pick up the hose. I received the last two light fixtures for the fire station located at the street shop. All lights of the building will be upgraded. Then on the 20th, he said, I made the trip to Manhattan this morning, picked up the 24 uh, 50 foot sections of two and a half inch fire hose. Uh, 11 10 foot of 5 inch hose and 14 scoot air pack bottles from the Kansas Forest Service. This is all surplus equipment from other fire departments and the Forest Service distributes it out of other departments free of charge. New price on this much equipment is right at $16,000. Uh, we will have the air bottles tested and we'll pressure test the hose some meeting night before we put it into service. Isn't that something? So these are just uh, used equipment from their fire departments. Fire, are they fire departments? Large, usually larger fire they're departments. They're swapping out. Yeah. That have regular rotation of equipment. Uh -huh. We don't use our equipment as much. Okay. Yeah. So. Why the savings? Yeah. Yeah. Dave have we? You said we haven't done this before. <coughs> <coughs> no, he was surprised yeah. to find it. Oh, he found it. Yeah. Well, didn't okay. we used to get our fire trucks from from same same spot? We have a fire. We have yeah. forestry. Yeah. Forestry. Yeah. Yeah. Forestry. Yeah. yeah. Are we limited to how much we can utilize it? I mean, to try to spread the wealth, or can we just keep coming back to the well if there's more things we need <laughs> yeah. in the future? Pretty much, if the way it sounded, if it's sitting in their lot, they can go and pick it up. Cool. First come, first serve. Pretty much. Everything we're close. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Cemetery and airport. Oh, parks parks and I'm sorry. Parks, parks We're still at Parks and Rec. Uh, sorry. Go ahead, Todd. Um, sorry. Uh, what somebody asked me, what is the ch proper channel if somebody wants to put uh, like a memorial bench or a bench in the park somewhere? What's the proper procedure? Who do they talk to first? You? Me. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Just didn't know. Okay. We've gotten more, we get enough of requests for those now. I didn't know yeah, we do developed you, do it. Yeah, do you have, still have places to put those? Uh, in City Park, I think we are done. We have one more going in by the trail, and then uh, uh, Mike Salupionics is going to go in by the pool. And right now, uh, there's plenty of benches to sit on, and I think it would be good to call City Park uh, good as far as how many benches are there. Um, other parks, I mean, there's, there's places to put them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Somebody, In yes. the, the swimming pool, the caulking, I know right before it closed, I was down there, the caulking around all the poles, mm -hmm. around the building, all that stuff is pulled away. Mm -hmm. We need to get that sealed up before winter sets in. Right, and that's that's on our... We do it, or whether we're going to hire somebody, but that's something that ought to be pretty high on our priority list so water don't get down there and crack that new concrete out along those edges. Of course, uh, and that is on our on our list of things to do. Uh, they just recently took the the things down the awnings, yes, on the awnings yeah. down so they are in the process if they if they haven't done it by now they're they're still in the process of closing it completely up is that part of the closing procedures to check all that yeah okay. and that's on I our list that's pole, on our list every pole's got yeah needs it some sorts it's been really bad yeah 
Maybe that's a normal maintenance thing. Is that just a well? I mean, or it, it should be it dries and it yeah, dries. It's, yeah, it's something that happens. Okay. Yeah. Anything else for Parks and Rec? Cemetery and Airport? Police and Fire? I just want to, to uh, thank the assistance that the Police Department gave uh, for the honor flight, the opportunity to honor our veterans, so I was really glad that they participated in that. And uh, I also had down that the Fire Chief got those used fire hoses. Anything else? Admin and Finance? The only thing I have, and I was going to hand this out before, but I had that meeting. And this is, can you hand, I don't know if I made enough copies. <coughs> the, pe the, uh, the people that are, I, I did not make enough copies, I'm sorry. I know You're going to have to share. Um, I apologize. But anyway, this was something that uh, Lando Corporation gave to Rotary. And I um, have talked to Austin about doing it. And it starts, um, with that benefit overview and it talks about how, what dollar amount that computes to all the benefits. Wow. And um, then they show, you know, based on, on the second page, based on a 40 hour week, what that benefit rolls into. And um, I, think it's, I think it's important for us to incorporate something like this mm -hmm. with ours. Um, and it could be part of the review process. Um, but I think it's important because we do have good benefits here. We have CAPERS, we pay the, a significant majority, if not all, of the health care benefits to our employees That to give that. Um, so what do you guys think? Yes, absolutely. I don't think anybody realized that uh, fringe benefits per hour, uh, such as this, add up to, to that. $11.50 an hour. Yeah. So... Um, I was thinking, you know, if he could do some kind of spreadsheet or something and add all those benefits and come up with what it does for um, our guys. The other thing that was at conference, too, was the retirement benefits. Remember that? And um, do, when CAPERS, do we get um, some kind of plan that they receive based on how much money they make of what they're going to receive in retirement? They, they, send out, they send out an analysis of what they've... Uh, Caper, Capers, Capers sends it out to the, to individual, the individual. Yes. Well, why would they bring that up at that training then if Capers does that? What? You know, they were saying how it's important for us to uh, explain to people what their retirement benefits are in case they need to increase them. Well, probably if that's a if there's a 401k or something like that that they additional besides. Right. So, they, but they also get um, Social Security, correct? <laughs> so they get cake plus Social Security? Yes. Right. So it seems like you'd want to be able to, for the full picture. I mean, the, the training we went to was kind of geared toward hiring millennials, but it applies to every single employee, and especially with ours a lot are close to retirement age, to see what their CAPERS plus their Social Security is going to be and potentially offer a contribution plan. Well, we do offer the contribution plan. They're, they do get that on their statement every year, and they're aware of it. Tells them how many years they've worked here, how much money they've contributed, and how much money they'll get if they retire now or wait till they're 65. So that they 66. know where they're at. Um, for that piece of it. I guess the only thing they don't get is their, well, Social, their Social Security, Security hands up. We don't have. Social Security yeah. distributes that too. So do you think that's sufficient for our got people? They were talking about that we probably need to do it. Is a defined contribution plan when we make a contribution as well? Or no, they define contributions like when I they CMA make a contribution and we, and we possibly do a matching. Yeah. And I didn't know if, if we wanted to introduce something like that, um, some kind of matching to encourage them to save because we don't have very many people participating in that. And if you if we if the city would come in and do some matching, we'd probably have more contribute, which is better for them in the long run, and it'd be a little bit of a raise. That might be something that Austin could talk to the supervisors about if he thinks that 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 the uh, their be people interested would be interested. In. Mm -hmm. and, and, you, and you can pose a question if the city does some type of matching, if that would give them more incentive and to say. Okay. Yeah, and, and I did receive, and I have not looked at it yet. That the new 401, it's not a K, but whatever that, I thought maybe it's a 401A. 
um, but I have not looked at that information. But it might, I, I guess I just want to make sure that we bring it up to our employees and if, if we make a math, a certain percent matching to encourage more to participate. So you can ask the supervisor. That's a good idea with that meeting coming up. You guys have anything else for um, admin and finance? Well, I don't know if this is under administration, but uh, um, I'm the liaison to the planning commission, and one of the members mentioned to me that they, they felt that they had not handled the credit union site approval quite right, that that the city should have addressed the alley situation first instead of you know they have made an approval based on a contingency yeah so maybe in the future, future not to we ought that to happen. kind of be aware of that yeah i th that that whole rollout i think it should have came to us first to the council first because as planning commission can't approve a one-way street mm -hmm. or to do improvements to the alley so, or I should say one way alley so it should have came to us before it went to the Planning Commission so I, I understand their concern so okay we will move on to appointments um, there was one recommendation by the Kester Block <coughs> advisory board that I agreed to which was Mike Blasky to be on that advisory board I move that uh, the appointment of Mike Blasky to the Kester Block Museum Advisory Board be approved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. No. The city attorney is not here. Do you guys have any reason for an executive session? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, going to round table, I just have two things. One is uh, that that Eagle Scout program will be Saturday for the um, mural painting. So if you're there at 3 o'clock, it would be nice for us to support that if you're in town. And the American Legion Haunted House, you know anything about that, Denny? I just saw it in the paper. Anybody know anything? Did anybody go last week? Do you, is it a fundraiser? For, it's a fundraiser. But for, do you know what for? The American Legion? Okay. I just seen it on Facebook. Yeah, I, I don't know much about it. And the only other thing is, um, thank you all for uh, coming to the candidate forum. Nine out of 11 candidates for uh, the governing body, the mayor and the uh, city council were there. So that's an awesome turnout. And it is now being shown on Blue Valley TV. So you can see it on Sundays and Wednesdays at 735, right before the council meetings. So 735 Sundays and Wednesdays. You can see it Monday, Thursday, and Friday at 1055, I'm sorry, 1255 p.m., 1255 p.m. afternoon. Mm -hmm. And then on Tuesdays and Saturdays at 655 p.m. So um, we could actually post that on our website, couldn't we, Debbie? Mm -hmm. that they can so that people can see when to watch those so anyway um, and, th and that's going to run every day until the election yes is, is it also accessible on the city website like the uh, council meetings are no because it's not ours oh okay. it was actually filmed by Blue Valley okay thank you TV so it's not really ours to put on the website but we can certainly post when they're available to the public so and uh, with that being said, that's all I got. Keith. Where's, where's the Eagle Scout program at? At the mural, isn't it? I think that's right. I'm thinking it's at the mural. Okay. At 3 o'clock on the 28th. I'm so sorry. Okay. All right, Keith. Yeah, in the forum I brought up, uh, maybe we could save some money by looking at different vehicle premiums for different insurance companies how yep. often do we do that i noticed you brought that up um, when we do emc you know if we pull that can you do that pull out your vehicles to a different insurer mm, i'm not sure i'm not sure i know i yeah. know that um when we were at our sure conference <clears throat> I, was it hathaway berkshire hathaway that says they also bid cities because we were kind of under the impression that EMC was the only game in town. Yeah, yeah. and uh, they came and 
Are you familiar with Berkshire Hathaway they're doing pretty, insurance? They're uh, not doing insurance, but I would imagine they're a huge company. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, ta I talked to the queen. <laughs> <laughs> I well, talked didn't, to didn't they say Alliance also handles Berkshire Hathaway? I think they did, yeah. Which, that was kind of confusing to me why we didn't have her bid both companies. Just knowledge of... I mean, One versus I, the other? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, you know, usually when you're doing an uh, insurance pr project, you know, just from a homeowner standpoint, whenever you pull something out, it's usually more expensive than bundling it all together. But, I mean, it's worth a look. It is worth a look, yeah, I think so. That's all I got. Okay, Bill? Well, our prayers are with you for Friday. I'm ready. All right, we're ready to do a little surgery, little surgery. Darlene? Uh, yes. Um, there's been quite a few comments uh, at the forum and then uh, in addition uh, that the council didn't handle the uh, the alley request from the credit union that that um, I I'm, how did they put it that we didn't treat them well and uh, I wrote this little thing up each city council's main function is to develop budgets and strive to spend our citizens' taxes wisely and fairly. There will always be more deserving projects, projects than available funds, so each council must prioritize, prioritize needs and wants. At the previous council meeting, the credit union asked the city to replace a block-long alley. A motion passed by four to three to fund up to a maximum of 16500 for materials to replace the alley. I voted no because $7,000 would have been fair and comparable to the amount the city contributed to the alley behind the new car wash. And we are trying to be equitable. Yes, I think that's we, one thing we have tried to do with our council. We need to try to when be we have comparable <laughs> projects to and developers and economic developments to try to keep it equitable. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Charlie? No. Brad. Um, I should have brought this up during admin finance or uh, police and fire, but I wanted to thank our first responders for helping with the incident down at the um, the, the, the jail. jail. I'm thankful that none of them or citizens got hurt Amen. given the situation, but, um, you know, our truck got shot at, um, our police officers were involved, so thanks for them and the, the Sheriff's Department for getting that handled, and luckily everybody got apprehended, and no injuries. hopefully we'll no get back to, no and death. no injuries, and hopefully we'll get back to normal, and that's right. everybody will learn from experience yeah. yeah handle professionally yes. yeah thank you Todd um, question I, because I've never called City Hall after hours but what is our answering machine I'm assuming we have some sort of answering machine or voicemail, voicemail what now. voicemail what's it yeah. say does it give like office hours or Oh, I could call right now and check. Want, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I thought it gives I think it gives hours um, and it says if you want to leave a message for this person, you, you can press this button. Into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I had a couple people ask me, and then they were surprised. What wasn't on our machine was the dump hours and things. They can't route through a menu to find out these sort of things. Is that something where that would be, be a lot of information to well, add, well, and, for, you know, and then for, to constantly update it? Well, that's what I wondered. Is I, I didn't know how the option menu worked. Whether mm -hmm. it was one of those for current dump hours press one or whatever and then you just have to change one little thing rather than the main menu you have, you have people or, i don't know how yeah just people how much you can micromanage it you can you put it to our website for other questions please view our website at blah, blah, blah. i have a couple of people that i don't they don't really use the internet oh kind of like some people around here <laughs> oh what what, <laughs> what? So I just curious. I, mean, I didn't know how the dump hours was. are always posted out there, though. Aren't and they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They have to drive out there. I yeah, know. That's <laughs> people just they want to find out every possible way. So mm -hmm. I just know how customized. They could use it Facebook was. and say yeah. what are the dump hours. First, they have to get on the internet to use Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? That's it. Becky. Um, I just have little tidbits here. 
Um, I want to mention that the Lee Dam Art Center uh, for all art exhibits are docent by volunteers uh, from RSVP. They're there on Saturdays, Sundays, and Thursdays. Um, also want to say, somebody had asked me if the people that are working projects in town, if we happen to be talking about the airport. And so I was out there today, so I just asked them if they stay in town. So while, while we're paying them to repair, they're staying in our hotels. So we're getting money back from them being here. So of course that means they're also eating here. I don't know if they go to a movie or anything else, but we're getting money back as we pay for the workers to come work here. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to mention that the Kansas Honor Flight has recently come back home and I uh, talked to Greg Boss and he said that there were uh, eight soldiers from the Korean War and 33 soldiers from the Vietnam War from our area that got to make this flight. And thank you for your service. Yes, thank you for your service, everyone. Um, and I, I, I made a mistake. I didn't have enough information when I talked last council meeting about the service flags on the two bridges, one to the west, one to the south. Um, on the piece of paper that I had when I was uh, going over the bills, it said Greg Boss, and that was the only name it had. But what it was, all these other people gave their money to Greg to purchase these service flags, and Greg gave it, came down here to pay for the flags. But I want to mention the people that bought flags. Uh, Greg purchased a flag in honor of Vic Belarchik for the Army and Michael Martin for the Army. Um, t uh, Jim Breeding and Ron Grower bought one flag for the Marines. Todd and Tim Ackerman in honor and memory of their grandfather, Raleigh Breeding, bought a Marine flag. Uh, Bob Montague bought an Air Force flag. Jimmy Keller bought an Air Force flag. Jim Cromer, who is in San Jose, California, bought a Navy flag. And Howard Pender Pendergast, in memory of Kenny Fenstermacher, bought a Navy flag. I just want to make sure that everybody uh, got credit for what they've done. Thank you to those soldiers and sailors for, uh, for keeping this country free and for buying the flags that keep them fresh and new so that every time we come into this town or leave it, we are reminded who is fighting for our freedom. That's all I have. So is there enough room on the bridges if somebody wants to purchase a Coast Guard flag? Is there, is there room there for that? I'll bet you if you want to put a Coast Guard, card, Coast Guard flag, somebody will find a way to make it fit. Yeah. Yes. That's all I have. Denny? I have none. It's your turn. Kevin? Okay, well, I just want to remind everyone to vote on November 7th. With that being said, I would entertain or a motion. Or oh, you voted. Oh, good job, Denny. <laughs> I would entertain a motion to adjourn. <laughs> Move to adjourn. Is there a second? All in favor Third. say aye. 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 Opposed? No opposed? Dog? Is this you got right in there, dude.